Pastor earlier spoke about this. And I believe that that is what God is calling many pastors and preachers in Burundi to do. Because there is a special destiny and anointing yeah. to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ on the spiritual leaders of this nation. Yeah. Now, what do they need to do? They just need to follow God. That is the only reason we are here. Yeah. We are not rich men. We did not come here because we could afford to be here. But we heard the Spirit of the Lord say, Burundi. Mm -hmm. That is the only word we had that we began with. Yeah. Was Burundi. Mm -hmm. And he would not let us even think of another nation. Mm -hmm. We have hearts for other nations. But God's heart for this moment in this time was only for Burundi. That is, that is what he has done to us. Was He has closed the rest of the world for us until we could come and we could preach his gospel here because now God has determined that we must come to Burundi yeah. over everywhere else that he could send us. Um, I, I love this question. Yes. And, and so I have a few things to give you. Talking about Reinhard Bonnke, you know, he was very, very faithful in the little. You know, most people don't know this about Bunky, but when he first came to Africa, he was preaching to crowds of 10 people, five people, three people. But Bunky wasn't just going for the crowds, he was going for the one. Yes. And so he stayed faithful in the little for years. And even myself, as you asked that question, I, I was thinking about, about my life many, many years ago. I used to pack up a, a book bag full of Bibles. And I would go into the streets, and I'd go door to door, and I'd preach the gospel to the one, door to door, when I first started in evangelistic ministry. And I stayed faithful to that for many, many years. And so, brother, I, I will tell you this. A man that is faithful in the little, the Lord can trust you with more. Um, but it's a heart thing. You know, we don't, we don't just do this for the big crowds. We don't just do this for the big crusades. We're, we're leaving the 99 to go after the one. Yes. And so I would say, uh, keep your heart pure towards the Lord and go after the one, man. Yes. Go after the one. That's, that's the heart of, of God. I didn't, if you read through the Gospels, you don't see Jesus just preaching so that he can gain an audience. Yeah. You see Jesus loving the one in front of him. So here's my answer. Just love the person in front of you and see what happens. Yes. Yeah. Okay. yeah. All right. Thank you. <laughs> And, and I also just want to add to that is that if God can use us, he can use anyone in Burundi. <laughs> yes, we're not here because we're the best preachers, although the Spirit of the Lord does make it possible for us to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. Yes. We're here because, at least I believe that we're here. I can speak mostly for myself, but I, I believe that we are here because we said yes. And because we were willing to, to die to come here. Yeah. And in every way, which means that pride dies. Yeah. Like our desire for anything of ourselves dies. It is, it is not a glory to me to preach the gospel on a stage. It's a glory to me to be able to say yes and to do the will of God. Yeah. So good. That is what yeah. enriches my heart. It's... Because I have a one-on-one -on -one relationship with him. Ministry or preaching the gospel exists to please him. Yeah. And so that's, that's, that's why I'm here. I believe if we go forth to please Jesus Christ, yeah. sure. then he will land on us and he will do supernatural things. And that will look in the natural like many Burundians who have said yes to Jesus Christ and are willing to die for him to them having international ministries. I think that's what it, what it will look like. We could, we could, come on. <coughs> we could stay on this yeah, topic for, for hours and hours because <laughs> this is our heart. Yes. And everything that he, he's saying is, is ringing in my spirit. You know, I think we are to follow Christ yes. to the cross. Wow. And you know, he says, pick up your cross and follow me. Come on. And so... For somebody to have an international ministry, I think it first starts there. Yeah. You know, what is it? What does the image of the cross look like? It's Jesus with his arms wide open, mm -hmm. 
with the cat of nine tails that already ripped the flesh from his body, the crown of thorns placed on his head. He had his arms wide open, and he said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. What kind of love is this? It's a love that most do not understand. He died so that other people could be set free. And so I think us as ministers need to do the same. Wow. Is to die to ourselves so other people can be set free. That means laying aside everything. Laying aside our pride, laying aside our egos, laying aside our intentions, laying aside even our ministries. Yes. <laughs> so that he can get the glory. And I think then the Lord can take you from here to here. Because he can trust you.